You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6.30. Well, more than 2,300 bridges in Illinois are in poor condition. To put that into context, that is nearly a tenth of the structures. And we are investigating what's being done to address it. Our Target 3 investigator, Renee Cooper, is here tonight. She will be leading our Target 3 investigation and digging deeper into issues affecting people across central Illinois. That's right. So I'll be working behind the scenes and bringing to light the issues, holding the powerful accountable, and investigating concerns that really affect you. Together, our team will be getting to the bottom of issues that matter to you. That's right. And one of the most recent concerns is who is really in charge of fixing those bridges when they need it? Exactly. In many cases, it's up to the community, but most interstates and highways fall under the state's authority. In Illinois, the state is responsible for a little more than 30% of bridges in poor condition. That's by federal standards. Maintenance is managed by IDOT, but paid for by taxpayers. IDOT inspects all bridges every other year, from Highway 105 over Lake Decatur to this overpass in Vermilion County that's been in poor condition since 2007. Some of these bridges, or at least pieces of them, whether the deck or the superstructure or whatever, have been in poor condition for 10 years or so. Why is that? Um, it just depends. Um, there are a lot of bridges that are old. Uh, some of them are, you know, needing more repair than others. It just depends. It basically comes down to the severity of the bridge's condition and if the money is available to cover the cost. Maybe some of the beams are deteriorating. Maybe it's some of the bridge deck. Uh, it's coming apart. Just because a bridge is in poor condition, like this section of I-74 in Champaign, does not mean it's shut down. This high traffic overpass was built in 1957. It's been in poor condition for the past four years, and construction is just getting underway. And according to federal standards, poor condition does not equal unsafe. First of all, if any bridge is unsafe or dangerous, we will not have it open. It will be closed. <laughs> These bumps and uneven roads can take a costly toll on your car. Naturally, that's the reason they're coming in. Mike Kirby of Kirby's Tire and Service Center says this year has been particularly rough on drivers needing repairs. We'll get a car in here and it'll hit both the right front and the right rear tire and blow both the tire and the rim out. Then they got front end problems, so you know, you could be spending $2,000. How often are you seeing people come in complaining it was the road, it was the bridges that caused this issue. Daily, if not every other day. According to Waffle, 48 state bridges are currently in poor condition between Champaign, Vermilion, Macon, and Sangamon counties. Those bridges are typically inspected more often. Do you ever worry that an inspection won't catch an issue on those bridges soon enough? Uh, it's obviously extremely important. It's critical to do a great job on the inspections, to be thorough. In fiscal year 2020, the DOT repaired about 1.4 million square feet of decks on 61 bridges. Now, data for 2021 is not available yet. Those repairs were made in part with money allocated in the Rebuild Illinois plan passed by state lawmakers in 2019. And just last week, Governor Pritzker announced another six-year, $20.7 billion construction plan through Rebuild Illinois. One of the bridges already under construction until next year is that portion of I-74 over Market Street in Champaign. Wobble says this is a $32 million project. And ultimately, even another $20 billion will not cover all of the repairs needed on our poor condition bridges. And the number of bridges in poor condition keeps climbing. Five years ago, about 6% of all bridges in Illinois were in poor condition. Rewind even farther, and I found 2003 marked the least poor condition structures in the last 30 years. For a look at the bridges in poor condition in your area, we have a map posted to our website, WCIA.com. And if you notice a bridge or road in disrepair near you, email us. We want to hear from you. That's Target3 at WCIA.com.